All right, one year later, this is a live look along Powers Way in Youngstown. It was three, uh, one year ago that three people died in a house fire, and tonight, family and friends are expected to gather to honor their memories. Now, this is a look at that tragic scene. Firefighters tried to control the flames, but it was just too much. Now, last night at 11, Stan walked us through what crews faced, each of them recalling specific details of this tragedy. And it's clear that night impacted them and many people across the valley. And tonight, the victims are being remembered again. Ten-year-old Kareen Gump, also her grandparents, Judy and Bill Schmidt, who lost their lives. 27 First News anchor Stan Boney has been talking to family and friends, holding a vigil tonight. He's live there with more on the South Pole. Well, so far, everything is really fairly quiet here on Powers Way at the scene where one year ago today, 10-year-old Corinne Gump and her grandparents, Bill and Judy Schmidt, died in a house fire. There's one police officer just hanging out to my right here uh, as they expected to see a crowd for a candlelight vigil that is expected to take place here very shortly. Standing next to me is Jim Gettings. He lives in the neighborhood. Uh, Jim, you actually knew Corinne Gump and were associated with her, correct? Yes, I did. Tell me your story with her. She was like a little customer of mine. I started a little candy shop, and she was one of my little customers that became like a little niece to me. And she used to run with a group of girls in the neighborhood, correct? They used to come correct. to you? There was about eight of them, and two of them were her cousins, along with a couple of my nieces and nephews. And I just used to see memories of them all the time coming up and helping me out. What are your feelings on a day like today? It's sad. She is well missed. And you live in the neighborhood. How's the neighborhood handling it? The neighborhood is kind of handling it upsettingly, too. Right. Yeah. Well, thanks for talking to us, and um, I'll see you at the, at, the, at the vigil. Thanks very much. That's Jim Gettings, uh, who lives in the neighborhood here, and as you can hear, actually was in new Corinne Gump and a group of girls that she hung out with as well. The candlelight vigil expected to start here between 6 and 6.30. Uh, there's Jim and two other people. We've seen a couple of people walk through, drop off uh, some things, and kind of take a look at the memorial, but so far no real large crowd has appeared at the moment. Live on Youngstown South Side, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. Now, Robert Siemens, the man accused of starting the deadly fire, his trial starts in September because he's pleaded not guilty. Judge Maureen Sweeney has been holding hearings once a month to make sure everything's done correctly in this case leading up to it. If convicted, Seaman could get the death penalty. And we have a special section on our website dedicated to this major local story. It's called Powers Way Tragedy. Just click on the news tab at WKBN.com.